We are live, ready to go on ahead and rock and roll with a brand new custom stream for LEGO DC Supervillains. Of course, if you've never tuned into one of these streams, essentially this is how it goes. Well, actually, maybe you're watching this already as a highlighted video. Regardless, I hope you will enjoy it as a video as well. Basically, what we do is we take suggestions from the chat and then we go on ahead and create custom characters. We've created characters based on real life chefs we, like Gordon Ramsay. We've gone ahead and created characters by, based on Marvel, DC, every other pretty much comic book company, many, many different cartoons, anime, different shows. So that is going to be what we attempt to do here today as well now of course with all that in mind don't forget guys if you're enjoying the live stream hit that thumbs up button that would be very very much appreciated thank you guys so very much for your support and with all that in mind ladies and gentlemen let's get started let's rock and roll time to play the intro video <laughs> Shakalaka. All right, it's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? It's just gonna be one of those days. Thank you, YouTube. Let's let's all thank. Let's take a moment here to just thank YouTube for being so awesome and so kind in sending out these notifications to all of you guys and letting you know that we're live. Oh wait a minute, they didn't do that. So. Unbelievable. Thanks, YouTube. Unbelievable. All right. You know what? I don't even care. That's their problem. They they don't want to go on ahead and uh, send out the notifications. That's perfectly fine. We'll just hang out with fewer of you guys and we'll still keep rocking and rolling. So for today, guys, I do want to go on ahead and mention a little bit of a change for this week's uh, custom stream. Essentially, the big difference is the fact that we have gone ahead and um, now shifted our attention towards um, only 12 customs. So that's the first thing I want to say. And then the other thing is that, honestly, guys, even if you're super chatting for a custom to be created, I do want to go on ahead and say that it can't be a character that's like completely, utterly random and just completely unknown. Like we had requests previously where on a multitude of occasions somebody will be like oh i'll uh, i'll super chat to like create a character from like blue dragon let's say or something like that the vast majority of the people in the chat are like what the heck is blue dragon so it is what it is again i understand some people want to see more random designs but we have to stick to relatively known at least franchises so hopefully that makes sense uh the dead man undertaker says i got my six month badge thank you so much for the support bro six months that's half a year that is bananas thank you so very much rip notifications oh that's perfectly fine i'm used to it by now i don't necessarily know why we only have 15 likes but i guess it is what it is uh you're mutant I'm muted on the discord am i again i am i don't know why i'm muted on the discord that's fascinating but i am there we go I'm unmuted now. I don't know why. Uh, Spider says, rip notifications. Indeed. Okay. Um, I need a suggestion for a character that we should create, guys. What should we build? Hey, Blitz, tomorrow's my B-Day. Happy early birthday, Ishan Misra. Chase McCain. Let's do that. Uh, Aiden Bellinger. Thank you so very much for the suggestion. Aiden Bellinger letting us know. Chase McCain. That is enough out of the box uh good pick i like it i like it i like it uh let's build chase mccain okay so we're gonna go classic with our chase mccain design so we're gonna go for the chase mccain as he was seen in the very very um first iteration of lego city undercover on the wii u so if you remember that one uh is it double c i think so right i think that's how i wrote it okay uh why did that not save? Oh, it did save. Okay. That was odd. Okay. We will go on ahead and give him a pistol. I think that'll be cool. 
By the way, for those of you that are just tuning in now, apologies. Obviously, YouTube decided not to notify the vast majority of the people of the stream, but uh, I always tell you guys, if you want, consider following me uh, or joining, I should say, the Discord server because we do post all the time when we go live on the Discord server. So, if you want to be uh, notified and make sure you don't miss out on things, make sure you are on the Discord server. And for those of you that are just tuning in, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you can, please help out the stream by just uh, going on ahead and hitting that like button. That would be tremendously, tremendously helpful. So if you can, hit that thumbs up button. That would be terrific. I think I'm going to go with that, actually, uh, for the color there. Although, I also think what we should do is probably on the right arm. I'm pretty sure he had a badge. So let's see if we can find something that kind of resembles that. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So we need something... Like that, maybe. It's going to look a little more futuristic -y, but I don't particularly mind. I actually think it looks kind of cool. So let's try that. Um, okay, for the face, um, pretty much the um, regular head sculpt. Why is there a banana on the screen right now? I don't get it. Why is there a banana on the screen? What is that happening? Uh, now, for the hairstyle, I think... I think they actually have that haircut in this game. I'm pretty sure that they do. And it is this hair. We're going to go with this kind of blonde-ish color. Then for the legs. I don't know why it still says Tara, by the way. It really should say uh, Chase McCain. So for those of you just tuning in, by the way, we are currently building Chase McCain from the Lego City Undercover video game franchise. And he has actually appeared, obviously, in a couple of um, the Lego sets as well. Okay, cool. And then for the shirt. So we need something that has ideally kind of that, like that police vest thing that he wears. That would be cool. Um, I don't know if there's anything that quite that specific in the game. Like, the only one I could think of is Jim Gordon, as far as, like, a police character, but he's not even all that, like, like he kind of wears just, like, a trench coat type thing, right? And, um, business suit, so it wouldn't really be fitting. That could maybe possibly work. We will see. Nope. I just wanted to see what that would look like. Not good. Um, not a terrible take there. Obviously, if we go for a chase as he's seen in uh, like the um, a mining costume, for example, or, or the construction worker chase, maybe we could uh, use one of those. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Nope. Yeah, the problem here is that there really isn't anything that's like... Super accurate, unfortunately. Space Ranger, Chase McCain. That's kind of cool, because it kind of gives you at least the best look. You know what? I think that's what we're gonna do except what we'll do is we'll give him a space blaster instead oh my good googly moogly we got our first super chat of the stream let's get some hype uh so this will be our space ranger chase mccain i still don't now it says chase mccain i don't know what's going on it's so busted right now it is what it is ladies and gentlemen the point is that that is our space ranger chase mccain zofo coming through with the two us buckaroo saying hey blitz can you please make beast from x-men i sure could beast x-men zofo guff okay thank you so very much for uh the request let's build uh the beast from the X-Men franchise. Also, guys, I do want to ask, of course, there's about double the number of viewers right now uh, from our 
likes. So if you can, please go on ahead and hit that like button. Let's go on ahead and get to 100 likes at least. That would be wonderful. Okay, so let's get to building Beast. I'm actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Google what Beast looked like in uh, Lego Marvel. So I could get kind of a similar-ish design. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to go over to here. Do, do, do. Change that to beast. Uh, as far as weapons, got to give him the claws, of course. Uh, that claw design. And we're going to go with this kind of color. Then, some of the things we need to actually change is removing some of the glow effects. Okay, now there's just an apple in the middle of the screen. Bruh. What the heck? Is that going to go... Okay, thank you. I was going to say, is that going to go away? Or am I just meant to play with just a random apple now on the screen? It's like, yep, deal with that. It's like, uh, why exactly? I'm, I'm very confused, bro. Okay, so I don't think they have a man bat design. I think that from, like, if we're going based on the um, Lego video game, it was literally just flat, like, just blue. But I'm trying to add a little bit of texture to the design, so I think that'll help. Uh, we also need to remove the cape, actually. So let's get rid of that. For the hairstyle, I think that one's easy. It's actually the same hairstyle that we used for uh, Wolverine. It's this one right here, the peaked hair. We're just going to make that dark blue. Um, now, this is where things get a little bit more challenging because we have... Well, actually, first of all, let me see. Are there Mambat leg... Oh, yeah, there is a Mambat leg piece, but it's only recoloring one part. So that's not something that'll work for us, unfortunately. So I think we're going to go um, just blue on this. Whoops, sorry. It's fine. There we go. Now, this is where we got to decide if we make, if we can find a yellow belt here, then we'll just put the belt onto the hip piece. If we can't find a yellow belt uh, with ideally a red belt, uh, belt, belt buckle, holy, I can't speak, then we'll probably need to incorporate that somehow into the torso design, which means we'll have to use a custom torso. Not looking good. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is just recolor this blue. Then go to the torso. Sorry, go to preset. And... Torso is blue. Belt is yellow. I wish we could texture the uh, rest of the torso as well, because that would obviously help here um then we're gonna go for preset eyes so for the eyes we ideally want them to be like yellow which i guess that could work maybe i think that looks pretty clean that is definitely an option mm, not a fan of that design i'm really just paying attention to anywhere where the uh, eyes are going to be uh yellow Okay, never mind. That'll be our take. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to the X-Men's Beast. What do you guys think? Let me know, let me know, let me know. Chat, what do you guys think? Do you guys like the design? Dislike the design? Also, uh, thank you guys. We're getting very close to 100 likes now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Build Wow Baboon. Ah, uh, that's a little too obscure. <clears throat> seven out of five? Really? I think this looks way better than a seven out of five. I don't think it's a ten, but here, let, let me show you. Because I, I think you're just... I think you're not getting a good view of the character. Because I certainly think this is better than a seven out of... Did I say seven out of five? I meant to say 7.5 out of ten. I'm so boosted today. Um... 
I think that that's pretty close. Like, if we could have just had more texturing on the uh, torso, that's that's pretty close, you know? Can you make der Dernix? I don't know what that is, so no. Um, boosted. You are boosted? That's fine. Thanks for letting us know that you're boosted. Can you build Brainiac? Is he not in the game? I mean... Yeah, he's in the game, dude. So... Not really sure. You know what? Okay, okay. I I'll take that challenge, Dead Man Undertaker. I'll take that challenge. We're gonna go uh, Emperor Brainiac. So I'm gonna do my own take on Brainiac. And that was Dead Man Undertaker asking for that one. Uh, by the way, guys, I do want to mention there are only nine other characters that will be selected today. So far, we built Chase McCain and Beast. Moving onwards and forwards now to uh, assemble Emperor. I don't know if it'll let me use enough letters. I guess let's try. Emperor. Whoops. Actually, I'm not going to even put a space there because I think that... Brainiac. Okay, sweet. What? How's... Is Emperor the... What? Okay, let's just say new... Brainiac. Am I... Okay, uh, let's just write new. What a weird, like, really? You can't use the word, what, Brainiac? That's, okay. Sounds good, I guess. I'm so confused. I don't understand why that's restricted do they not want you to create characters that are already existent is that why i wonder uh l dusty thank you so very much for the two uh, buckaroo uh, super chat tying the biggest super chat of the stream saying can you make ben 10 from the comic 5yl there you go okay okay we can definitely create that uh 5yl that's not obscure enough from l dusty um two, 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 two. okay so here's what i'm gonna do um i'm definitely still gonna use the face print for brainiac just trying to think should i recolor it maybe i don't know we'll see maybe just a different shade of green pretty much Yeah, I think that green looks a little bit cooler. Now, for his cape, we're going to go purple and green. Then for the headpiece, um, Okay. Let's give him uh, some purple gloves. I do want to give him an energy effect. That will be sort of pink style. Okay. <clears throat> So, by the way, this was a request by uh, Deadman Undertaker. He had requested Brainiac. Since Brainiac is in the game, we're doing our own original rendition of Emperor Brainiac. So, this is kind of a, I don't know, just a made-up variation of Brainiac. Um, actually, I think this could look kind of cool. By the way, that torso, the one that uh, currently is um, on this figure, could probably work for Beast as well, because it's got the yellow belt. So that's something I didn't even think of. Um, 
I want to see what Brainiac's regular uh, torso is like. Okay. And then for the legs, we're going to go green into purple. There he is. That will be our emperor, Brainiac. What do you guys think, guys? That'll be like a ultra powered up form of Brainiac. Stream went, oops. What do you mean? Did the stream crash? I got zero drop frames. That was our third character. Our next one is actually going to be a request from a super chat, which will be from L Dusty. And it is Ben 10 from 5YL. What the heck is 5YL? Oh, is that five years later? Is that what it means? I assume it's the one with the beard, kind of, right? Some people in chat are experiencing issues or just trolling. Because, <laughs> of course, it's not bad enough that YouTube doesn't even bother sending out anybody notifications for my channel. Let's also just have complete disaster as far as the uh, buffering. Uh, on their end is concerned. Wonderful, YouTube. I love it. Thank you so much. Just super duper fantastic to see. Okay, so I'm thinking we could use maybe something like this with like a camo green. Whose leg piece was that again? That was Red Robin. Perfect. Let's see if they have a Red Robin. Um, they do. So that will do the only thing is he does have a black belt so maybe i should just repaint that uh that doesn't look great oh you know what i could do i could just um select the red robin hip piece but repainted black there we go sweet okay um now he has short sleeve shirt with green so we're just gonna try to replicate that so we're going to do a nice bright green, like, actually, maybe it's more like that green. Short sleeve design. Give him the black gloves. Cool. All right. Um, so let's pick the hairstyle next. It's sort of kind of a longer hairstyle than usual. I think it's a bit more like flattened. Maybe even like that. Okay. Even though he does have that style of beard, it looks like it's only like the uh, neck beard, I think it's called. Um... I don't think that one looks great, obviously. So let's see if we can find something better from the custom designs. I think, oh man, there might not actually, yeah. That's kind of a problem. All right, let's say we go with that. And then for the torso, it's supposed to have that X design with uh, white and green as kind of the predominant colors. I think that can work. I also think that probably the uh, Beast Boy torso piece might be decent here. So that would be my take right there on Ben 10 5YL. L Dusty, hopefully you're happy with that design. Uh, there you go, my friend. 
that was our fourth character request for the day guys uh, let's go on ahead and get rocking and rolling with our next one so uh, also, in the meantime, I do want to go on ahead and thank each and every single one of you, all 121 of you who went ahead and hit that like button. That would be very, very much appreciated. Echoes, build wild baboon and don't you dare call it obscure. It's a uh, black monkey with white cheeks. Come on. Uh, okay. Can you make Gen 1 sound wave? Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. That's. I'm thinking about it. Let's see if you guys come up with something better. Billy Butcher. I don't know who that is. Green Lantern Superman. Okay, that's an interesting pick. And could you make chaos? Like the character from... Um, what is it called? Uh, Skylanders? <laughs> you know what? Let's do it. That'll be... That'll be funny. Let's do that. Chaos. I also don't think we've ever built him before, so. So let's try that. Okay, so we're gonna attempt to build the uh, evil character, the villain from the Skylanders franchise, known as Chaos, spelled K A O S, obviously. Uh, we're gonna set that to villain. Oh, it's DJ Ready Red dropping that super chat. Broski, thank you so very much for the two bookaroo super chat saying, can you make a Gotham by Gaslight Batman suit? I can certainly uh, give it a go and try. Gotham by Gaslight. You're talking about the one that's like the main one, right? Because didn't he have multiple suits in that? And this is a request from DJ Ready Red. Okay, so let's try to build chaos i guess technically it's kind of a simple design really right because it, it, it was mostly whoops sorry it was mostly um like he mostly had kind of just a black costume the difficult parts will be uh figuring out what to do for the eyes because he had the uh kind of like painted black design i'm kind of thinking of maybe use um what's his face um ba, ba, ba. Oh no, never mind. For some reason I thought Bane had like the uh an extra like um reticle on the inside of the eye there, but he doesn't. Dang it. Uh who could we use? Could we use maybe Lobo? He would have a beard, which is a little bit unlike. Hmm. I'm thinking, though, that might actually be the way to go here, honestly. Because it really would. Apart from the beard, it will look pretty close, I think. So we'll, we'll try it. Um, that's proper. Just change this to black. Then we got to go with the robe-like look, so that you know what we're going for. League of Shadows. That's our usual go-to character uh, design when there's like a robe-type character. Cool. Um, then we just repaint this black. And repaint this black. And uh, I guess... Actually, here's... The other thing we'll do is we'll add some spell effect we'll do two different colors as well why not like a green and a red maybe and changes battle pose there you go ladies and gentlemen i give to the chaos from the skylanders franchise do 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 all right so Let's see what we've got next. Our sixth character will be. Let's find out who it will be. Let's make some. Oh, wait. Sorry. Oh, I forgot. We had a super chat request. So, Gotham by Gaslight Batman. Okay. So, that's got that trench coat sort of look. Uh.
it's odd because there's so many different renditions here like for the pictures like a multitude of different designs um okay let's try you're supposed to have like a dark gray okay it's fine let's just get to it uh well, let me even use the word batman or you're not allowed to use okay cool so you can't use the word brainiac but you can use the word batman why i don't know don't ask me i i honestly don't know why that's um the case okay so we'll start there and kind of work our way up uh, as far as torso is concerned, we don't really have a whole lot of options. We're gonna have to use one of the bat. Oh, actually, I guess I could use a custom torso too. So let me let me just think about it. We we'll see. I wonder if any of these. This is probably the closest, and it should be kind of a lighter gray. So let's see. We'll try that. Which then means that this just needs to be repainted dark gray to match. Okay, now he does have black gloves. And for the arms, what we're going to do is in order to try to create that illusion of him having the uh, part of the cape kind of like draped over him. Uh, we're actually going to repaint that and then try to match. Oh man, do they not have that gray? What color of gray is that suit there? The torso... Okay, wait, this is annoying because they legitimately don't have that gray, I think. It can't be this. Like, that completely doesn't match. And it can't be this, right? Which means I'm gonna have to repaint the torso. Because otherwise, if it doesn't match, it's gonna look awkward. Yeah, it's gotta be a little bit lighter. That's annoying. But it is what it is. Okay, then we will give him a cape. And we'll go with kind of the splayed cape. As far as the color, just... Uh, I think I'll go with like a dark gray on the inside and then the black on the outside. No, I think I gotta go both ways like this. Okay. Now, um, unfortunately, we can't get those like really elongated ears. The, the best that we can do would be this. Uh, as far as the ear design is concerned. So, even though the design of the lower part of the mask is more like this one. So, it, it's a bit of a trade-off. But I think the longer ears are more crucial here. Uh, and then he does have kind of the uh, stubble for the face. So, we need to pick something like this. <laughs> Repaint that. And there you go. That will be our take on Batman or Gas Batman or Gotham by Gaslight Batman. All right. That was our sixth character, guys. So we are halfway done. Before we even move on to our next six characters, I do want to go on ahead and quickly just round up the characters that we've already built so people maybe are tuning in so they don't ask for the exact same design over and over and over again. So uh, just to go on ahead and clarify, we've already built Chase McCain. We went for like a Space Ranger costume. We got Beast from the X-Men. We got Emperor Brainiac. We have Ben 10 based on the 5YL uh, comic, which I'm guessing is like five years later, maybe. Uh, then we have Chaos, the main villain from the Skylanders franchise. And last but certainly not least, we have Batman from his Gotham by Gaslight outfit. So with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's go on ahead and uh, see the next request. Ooh, that's a good pick, bro. I I think I might have got one already. From Eli Parker. Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't think we've ever built a character from Yu-Gi-Oh! So, oh man, why did I agree to that? How the heck am I going to do the hair? Okay, well. Uh, well, figure it out. 
We shall figure it on out. Okay. Um. Uh, why did I do that? Okay. Let's see. Yugi it is. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is like we usually start with kind of the easier stuff and then build our way up. Okay. Um ba -ba -ba -bum. so he just kind of has a jacket, but he does have these like um I guess what are they supposed to be like chains or something? I don't know. Buckles on the uh, wrists. So we're going to try to replicate that to the best of our ability. Um, and then he has a black belt. So sort of like this. Then the legs just repaint blue. Okay. Now we need to get rid of this, um, giant armor that he's currently wearing the most difficult respect to this character will definitely be the hair because i i just don't know what the heck we could possibly use to make it even remotely yugi-esque i think we've got to go with something like this or maybe that actually okay let's see so he's got blonde, black, and kind of red hair. What changes on here? Hmm. I wish you could repaint like the uh, outside of that. That would have been cool. Uh, as far as the face, just a regular expression. Nothing particularly crazy detailed or anything i think he has sort of blonde eyebrows like that and then for the jacket so we could do maybe one where it's like the jacket is closed so that would work possibly right what do we think or maybe I don't know why that's the color. Maybe go with something like that. The only thing is that then it looks like he's already got a belt. So we would need to adjust this. Emerald, thank you so very much for reminding everybody that they should go on ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Uh, that is definitely not the right pose. There we go. So... Yu-Gi-Oh! We've got ourselves our own variation of Yugi. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. It's Yugi. All right. Next request, ladies and gents. Let's see what you got. Come up with some. Can you build the hip monkey, please? Let's. Uh, no. Can you make Homelander? William Kevin, we built him last time. Black Widow. That's an interesting proposition. Maybe. Uh, make Batwing? Nah. Du, 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 du. Darth Vader. We've already built Darth Vader before, so... Like this video. Thank you, Asha. Thank you for reminding everybody. Make an Among Us imposter. <laughs> Uh, okay, so it's just kind of like a character with a visor, right? Is that what it is? I mean, that would be pretty easy. What color should we make him? Okay, so red imposter from Among Us. All right, so I don't know if there's enough letters to spell everything. Actually, let's just try it this way. Maybe it will be enough letters. Uh, 
There we go. Sweet. So, um, I guess the first thing we need to do is get rid of the ring. What weapon do we give him? Gun? Chat. What weapon should he have? Du, du, du. <laughs> Repaint that red. Repaint the hip piece red. Knife, knife, knife. Okay, okay. Chill, chat. Chill. You guys have a zero chill. Um. Well, the only thing here that is considered a knife is, I guess, that? Although that kind of looks more like one, to be honest. So I guess that's what we'll equip. All right. Um, now... The rest of the design here is just pretty much going to be all plain red, really. There really is no detail to the characters. So, I guess we just repaint everything red. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Plain red. No decals. Or should we give him a decal with the... Uh, Okay, no, no, never mind. Now, they usually have, like, uh, backpacks, right? Sort of things. So... Okay, and now the visor. Um, so, first of all, to have more of, like, a rounded design for the head... I think we could do maybe that. Then we need a visor. So, I think what I'll do is I'll go with this. <laughs> repaint this red. And go through here. Give him a visor. Repaint that. And there you go. Let me see. Would it look better if we... Is that better? What do you guys think? There has to be a visor. Yeah, yeah, I know. What do you guys think? Which one? Uh, vote one for this. Vote two for this. Make Captain America from the Avenger game. Maybe. We'll see. Looks like Blitzbot. Um, sure. I mean, if everything that's red just immediately looks like Blitzbot, then I guess I agree. So most people are actually voting too, so I guess we'll go with this. So there you go! That will be our take on the Among Us... Wait, no. There! That will be our take on the Among Us imposter. So give that one a rating out of 10, guys, uh, as we move along to our next character. So there's still a handful more... Um, left. Well, can you make Magneto? Um, maybe. We've built Magneto before. Can you do Mario or Luigi? Uh, we've built both of them as well, so I, I don't know. Th th again, if there's enough requests for Mario and Luigi, then I would definitely consider it, but I I'd rather build something new. Seven. Sorry, Blitz. That's fine. Can you make DC's Wildcat? Uh, a little too obscure. Can you make Marty McFly or Human Torch? Ooh, interesting. That one is a, a possibility. Uh, make Black Panther. We actually made Black Panther not last week's uh, stream, the one before that. Make a Stormtrooper. Maybe. Daredevil would be cool, but we've already built Daredevil. Make Thanos. We actually built Thanos and did a pretty good job with it. Uh, Batman Dark Knight. Can you do a pirate? Just a random pirate? Make Stark Tech Ms. Marvel. Now, ooh, I like that idea. Golden. Uh, K88. 
making an awesome suggestion. Mega Man! That's actually a character that I don't think we've ever built. So, let's fix that! Um, let's go on ahead and... Have they ever done a Lego Mega Man or no? Doo -doo -doo. I guess that's never been done. Okay, cool. So, uh, um... All right, so let's do this thing. Now, one of the things that will be kind of difficult for this one is try to figure out a way to give him um, a buster cannon on the uh, left hand. I don't know how we could do that. Okay, let's think. Maybe if we... Maybe if I could find something that kind of like... Looks very tech-based, maybe. Over on that side, that's not going to really work. Ooh, this could work. As long as there's nothing on that shoulder pad. Okay. So if we went with something like this, and then the right uh, arm is just plain. Repaint the same color of blue. Okay. Um, now, for the legs. Leg design, we just basically go uh, darker blue on the bottom, lighter blue on the top. So sort of like that. Uh, awesome Adam for 20, from 2099. Thank you so very much for the 99 cents. Super chat, my friend. Thank you for the support. Um... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so this has just got to be blue. Then for the torso. Wow, I, I honestly never realized how kind of plain the design is for Mega Man. Like, until we're building it right now, I just never realized how there really isn't much to his character design. You know? Okay. Um, so, we got to get rid of these shoulder pads. I don't even understand how, again, we have the shoulder pads and the wings equipped. I'm not sure how that occurred, but it did. So, cool, I guess. I just have no clue as to how that actually happened. Um, now, for the face... Something like that could work. I mean, obviously, I'm aware of the fact that his eyes are way bigger, but there's no way to, like, incorporate that. So... That's a bit of a limitation. And then for the helmet. Okay, so I guess technically I could just use this. Right? Repainted blue. And you got yourself a Mega Man. Or let's take a look at what else could be possibly used for a helmet. For Mega Man. Nope. Oh, by the way, I should have used this for the... Okay, I'm going to go back and use this for the um, Among Us guy. Like, the problem here is that it's not supposed to go over his um, eyes, like the design. And so because of that, we're a lot more limited by what we can actually use. So that's why I really do think we got to go with this just regular sports helmet, I guess. And there you go. That will be our design on the one and only Mega Man. All right. Now, before I move along, first of all, I want to go on ahead and thank uh, Mr. Fragments here coming through with our biggest super chat of the day. Thank you so much, Fragments, uh, for the five Canadians saying, Blitz, thanks, my grandpa is okay. Super happy to hear that, man. That is a positive vibes. Fantastic news. Uh, and can you make black mask, please? Thank you. Also, to the chat awesome fragments we're, we're all very happy to hear that and yes we can build black mask i think he's in the game isn't he i'm gonna check i'm gonna double check uh because if he is then obviously i'm not i'm not gonna do like the same exact design so we're gonna vary that up a little bit okay uh by the way so i think this will improve our imposter character a tad bit if we went with this So, there you go. 
That will be our new Among Us imposter. Is it now a 10 out of 10, Carrot King? Is it no longer uh what did you say it was? Five, six, seven, something like that? Like a terrible rating. Black Mask isn't what? Black Mask isn't in the game? How is that? How was he overlooked? He was the villain of the uh, Birds of Prey movie. You would think that they would for sure include him because of that. Black Adam, Black Canary, Black Manta, Blue Beetle. What? There was no DLC for Birds of Prey, was there? No, there wasn't. Bro, he's actually not in the game. What the heck? Okay. So this is actually a pretty important character to go on ahead and add. Uh, Speedy Springtrap, thank you for the $4.99 super chat. Enjoy the bucks, Blitz. Thank you so very much for tying the biggest super chat of the day, by the way. Uh, but also, how about in 1999 Pac-Man when, when you, when you can? I can wait if anyone is in front of me. I hope everyone will have a wonderful day, dude. Speedy uh, Springtrap, thank you so much for the positive vibes, bro. And you won't have to wait much, uh, because you will be next after Black Mask. Uh, so let me write down Pac-Man. I don't think we've ever done that. So I don't know how the heck I'm going to do that. Because we need to create a big giant mouth. Maybe we could use a torso print. To, well, we'll see. Uh, Black Manta, thank you so very much for the biggest super chat of the day by one, buck or, uh, by one cent. Uh, as a DC custom suggestions, make your own version of a Sith. And you have to use a different sword than you normally do. It's easy, dude. Black Manta, 3736, and Custom Sith. Awesome. I like that. I like that idea. I like that idea. Okay, so our next uh, requested character, though, was Black Mask. So let's get to work on that. Also, guys, I would like to ask you, if you can, please go on ahead and help out. I know some people are like, I can't super chat. I can't become a member. It's all perfectly fine. But if you can, please consider hitting the thumbs up button. It really does help out a ton. As you can see, a lot of times YouTube just does not bother sending out notifications for my channel. So uh, if you guys can help out uh, by hitting the thumbs up button to help out with the YouTube algorithm, I would really, really, really appreciate that. So uh, thank you uh, very, very much for that. Okay, so uh, what do we give him? Pistols? What do you guys think? What should we do um, as far as weapons? Dual wielding for the pistols? I think that's kind of classic for... Um... Black Mask. Yes? Okay. A frying <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Speedy spring trap. <laughs> A frying pan. Okay, sure. I, I mean, I'm not sure why he would use a frying pan. Was there something in uh, the Harley Quinn and Birds of Prey movie that I don't remember where he used the frying pan? Did that happen? Because for some reason, I cannot recall something like that. That's pretty funny, though. Um, okay, so we're going to go with this kind of like obviously suit design that he usually would wear i don't know if we could use a striped suit because i maybe two-face actually what is two-face's suit like i don't remember honestly okay so it's an option we'll see Maybe we'll go with a black suit then instead of the uh, white suit. But I just think that he usually has the white suit is a little bit more like iconic as far as black mask is concerned. Because then it like, uh, it, it's a nice contrast between his mask. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think and remember. Okay, so. Could use that. Um, is there any character that has a striped suit? The tuxedo? Is there an actual torso piece that's just called tuxedo? Because I don't remember that. 
I mean, I'm not questioning you, but I don't recall. Oh, we could use the shade. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think that will work. Okay. Um, is there... A Perfect. And then for the leg piece. I want to see what the shade, if they even have shade um, leg piece. And if so, what it looks like. Um, the shade. Okay. Not bad. Um, now we have to figure out what the heck do we do for the face. Oh, that's the tough part. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to quickly just Google a picture of Black Mask DC Comics. You literally Google Black Mask and it just shows you all the uh, masks that everybody wears now. Okay, so it's supposed to look just like a skull, right? I'm just trying to think how I could best do that. I mean, it'll probably look terrible if we did that, right? What looks like what do we think? Yay or nay? There's a glitch with the skeleton. Oh, I know. I know that I could change the skeleton face. Like the... Uh, if I go here. And um, I pick... The... This one. The problem with it is that, uh, sorry, what I have to do first is pick a different face. Uh, repaint. Everything white, then you go here. But I think that looks terrible because it's like, it's very smiley. Like, when I think of black mask. I, I I mean, I don't know. Do you guys think that that looks better? Somebody said phantasm head. Well, let's check it out. I think that looks clean. I think that looks really clean, actually. I think that looks super cool. That'll be our take. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is. The Black Mask. Looks really cool, actually. Okay. Uh, next request was for Pac-Man. This one's going to be really tough. Oh, actually, this is our second to last request. Um, and then the last one will be a uh, custom Sith character. Wait, is it Pack Dash Man? I think it is, right? Okay. How the heck am I gonna? Okay, so some of the things that are kind of relatively straightforward would be gloves, right? So he's got the orange gloves, the red boots. So we'll start with kind of the easy stuff. That's usually what I do. Get the easy stuff out of the way, and then you're able to, like, figure out more of the... Which color of yellow should we use? Type in one for this, type in two for that, type in three for that. What do you guys think? I 
Iron Fist, I heard. I, I honestly started to laugh when that happened. Because when we had all those people constantly um, um, go on ahead and um, ask for all these Sesame Street characters, I was like, this is so ridiculous. And then literally a few weeks later, they were like, yeah, we're making a Sesame Street Lego set. And I was like, wait, really? So that was definitely pretty funny. Uh, so most people seem to be voting for three. So I think that that's uh, the one that we're going to go for. I actually think that one would look better, but we'll go with three. Okay. Um, so for the legs, like I had mentioned, we're going to go on ahead and do the red boots. So we're going to go with that. Red boots. And then the uh, hips color. I think it's just plain yellow, right? So, oh. Awkward. Oh, very, 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 very awkward. Ah, oh, yay, yay. That's already a problem because we can't. Oh, so annoying. Oh, is that going to match? Okay, well, I'm sorry about your guys's. Oh, I guess that matches kind of, right? I think that's the right yellow there. Okay. So now we got to figure out what the heck to do with the face. Because that's the the tricky part is how in the heck can we design so that it looks like he's got a big giant mouth. Oh, man. I legitimately don't have even a slight clue of where to begin here. I'm like, usually most of the designs, like when you guys submit them, I'm like, ooh, that'll be a good like starting point. And then, and then we can get going, you know? Whereas here, I legitimately don't have even the slightest of ideas of how to possibly create the illusion of as though he's got a big giant mouth. Um. Nope, that's not going to work. Any ideas, chat? If you guys have any ideas, I am all ears. I'm listening. I guess in theory, what we could do is literally just go like plain yellow for the torso. And if we could find something that looks like a uh, ninja hood, why would, why would we use that? Two black head with a yellow helmet. Okay. So I guess maybe that could work. So let's try something like this, possibly. Aha. Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to thee, Pac-Man. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it's the goal there was to try to use the boomerang design to go on ahead and give him the uh, eyes sort of right with the uh, like on the top of the head. And legitimately, within the difficulties and the limitations of this game, uh, the idea of using the visors like as though that's his tongue, because it's not just the black mouth. He has the tongue detail as well. So I, I kind of think that that's 
I mean, it's not great, but then again, I would love to see somebody else attempt to build Pac-Man to see how much better they could really do within the limits of this game. Because I'm honestly kind of pleasantly surprised by what we were able to uh, come up with. Okay, so um, and thank you, chat, for helping out with that. I really do appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to build a Sith character this is going to be a custom request completely and this one was requested by black manta 3736 so i get to build a sith and the only uh, limitation was that i have to use a sword that we usually would not use so i'm thinking either this one because i think that it will look really really cool or maybe this one because i think this is a little over the top You know what? I'm going to try this. And we're actually going to go dual wielding. Okay. Now let's get to designing. Nope. Okay. Um, gloves, obviously black. I'm going to try to maintain some of the design elements that you'd expect with most Sith characters. Like, they're not going to be rocking, like, very bright costumes, obviously. So, I'm going to try to make sure that I incorporate that as much as I can. Um, I actually wonder, would that torso piece, the one that he currently has equipped, recolored black look cool? It sort of does. Hmm. That's definitely an option here. I think that's going to be a little too Mando-esque. Dang, that looks really cool, actually. Like the gold detail like that. Hmm. I feel like the arms don't match then. No, oh, it's too too bright there. I think that honestly, like the um, previous torso design looks a little bit cleaner here. If you specter, I just don't want to do too many colors because I feel like if if you introduce too many colors, it's just gonna get like diluted and it's not gonna look great. Um, let's scroll down to the letter S. So that's why I'm trying to limit it to just black and gray or like black and silver as kind of the predominant colors. There we go, so it's like armor plates. Okay, done. There you go. What do you guys think? How does that look? Give that one a rating. And while you're doing that, I'm going to actually finish the design the way that it's supposed to look. Kind of like the idea of using a visor. I also think it'll be kind of cool if you have kind of the uh, face covered in shadows, sort of.
Mm, that's tough. I feel like it's better to go with the visor now because then it's like if we ever build a design of this character without the hoodie on, then we could think of like a hairstyle design and what kind of eye design and things like that. So for now, I think I'm going to actually go the route of... Um, Ladies and gentlemen, I give to thee our own very custom Sith character. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, there we go. So for today, we're going to go on ahead and call it a day here today. Um, obviously, if you guys enjoyed the stream, please don't forget to go on ahead and hit that like button. Uh, we're nowhere close to 500 likes, so I don't know if we're going to do another one of these streams next week. It's up to you guys, of course, if you want to make that happen. Hit the thumbs up button. I know that YouTube does not bother sending out notifications, which is obviously a bit of a problem, but uh, it is what it is. So in the meantime, though... Here's the thing. I do want to ask you guys for what was your favorite design out of all the ones that we went ahead and put together here today. So you got Chase McCain, Beast, uh, Brainiac, Emperor design, Ben 10 from uh, 5YL comic book. Uh, then you have Chaos from Skylanders. You have the Gaslight Batman. Over here, we've got Yugi. We've got an Among Us imposter. We have Mega Man. We got Black Mask, which is probably my favorite, even though Pac-Man was probably the most difficult one of the bunch. Pac-Man, and then last but certainly not least, a custom Sith Lord. So let me know which one was your favorite. I, I think that my favorite was either Black Mask, the Pac-Man design, just because it was so difficult uh, to try to get something right about that one. I, think, I thought Mega Man looked pretty accurate to like classic Mega Man. If we did like a battle net Mega Man, that would be more difficult, of course. Uh, I guess Beast actually does look pretty accurate too, really, if you think about it. Like he's pretty close to what Beast needs to look like, really. So I think that that's neat. And then the custom Sith Lord, I think turned out really cool too. So there you go. So, with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so, so very much for tuning in. Huge shout-outs to all of our Super Chatters. Thank you guys so very much for supporting the channel. Of course, I will hopefully catch you guys here all next time. Peace out. See you later.